Hey, what's going on, guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another day in the markets. Today we are wrapping up a trading week. It is Friday, wrapping it up on November 22nd, 2019. All right, guys, so let's kick it off. What do we see yesterday in the market? Um, flat. It was a flat day. Um, you know, obviously, sector wise, we had a 7 3. Um, 7-3 bear split energy took top spot yet again back-to-back -back days, which is rare. They've been getting pretty slim lately. Um, real estate actually wrapped up the bottom of the barrel, trading down with the rest of the seven sectors in the red. So uh, SPY closed down uh, closed down half a point. Uh, had a little bit of a just kind of more or less flat after hours yesterday, and then pre-market were gapping up uh, this morning, wrapping up the end of the week. Um, you know, it, it, back to back days were a little bit weak. Um, obviously on, on Wednesday, we had that sell off going in to the late afternoon, um, after lunch, you know, with the chatter coming out of, out of uh, Washington that, you know, the uh, trade deal may not happen in 2019. So obviously a lot of, uh, a lot of selling occurred and obviously you had a nice bounce, uh, going into the close, but yesterday wasn't too much action. Um, the range is quite tight. Um, in the ETF and cross street cross from uh, most of the big caps as well. Obviously, you have your randoms here and there. Um, you know, Netflix ran nicely, Tesla ran nice. Anyway, let's get into it. We have a uh, five kicking it off on our watch list. We're going to kick it off with obviously, as, as you can see, Netflix had a solid day closing up over uh, six and a half points. Uh, with these things on a rampage. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you can't deny, you know, what the, what the uh, charts are printing, right? So, you know, crack through uh, yesterday's uh, resistance. So, you know, it keeps pushing higher. Um, obviously, you know, that 312 is right on it right now, um, where it's trading at the pre-market, after hours in pre-market right now. Um, if it can kind of crack through this level, obviously you have a clear shot to the 332. Um, you know, you will have some pullbacks around here and there. However, this is a possibility that being Friday, you're going to have some profit taking because you had a, what, what, you had six, this is, that was the sixth day in a row yesterday that's trading up. So we may see a little, uh, uh we'll actually we'll probably see a, a pullback today, but, uh, overall, um, it's bullish. Um, you know, overall you can see it's definitely an uptrend since the end of September. Um, that being said, you know, uh, we are bullish on it. Uh, we're anticipating a pullback. So, you know, if it can give us opportunity for a quick uh, day trade today uh, to the downside, you know, any pullbacks to, to uh, VWAP to mitigate will step in. Um, however, if it lives above VWAP and it lives above its pre-market highs, we're going to probably be long. So uh, that's our uh, take on Netflix for t today's session. Uh, NVDA, they closed down uh, exactly a point yesterday, kind of lived below that uh, pre-market excuse me, that pre-market low and VWAP all day, closed week. Um, it is still an uptrend though, um, you know, until otherwise, you know, we're definitely going to be bullish on it. Um, it's not coming up on any, well, it's not uh, hitting any resistance level in our opinion, so we still got another, we'd say, five to six points to the upside. Uh, it definitely needs to hold these levels from yesterday's low to get a nice bounce to the upside today. So we're going to see, obviously, after around that 10, 10 to 15 time frame uh, this morning, we're going to see how it's going to operate. So um, we're going to be tentatively bullish on NVDA. Roku closed down uh, just over three points yesterday. Again, another uh, uptrend. Um, you know, you had your pullback back in October, as you can see. Uh, found support and it's been pushing higher and higher. Um, that being said, you know, obviously we got the 165 overall. Uh, it came close uh, yesterday. Obviously, you can see that it, it came close right out of the gate, pulled back, and kind of closed weak, but it's gapping up pre-market this morning with the rest of the, the market. So, uh, you know, we will look to see these levels. So we would like to see a pullback to this 155, 154, 153 level um, and for it to hold, right? So if it can hold these levels and push higher, then obviously we'll be bullish for Roku. So, again, needs to live above pre-market highs. Shopify closed down just shy of a point a nice run on wednesday uh kind of weak yesterday with the rest of the market so not not too uh concerned um obviously you know we're not a fan we don't think these prices should be solidified up here however prices are pushing higher so you don't want to fight with the market's giving you right your 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 bias your opinion doesn't mean shit the market's pushing everything so um you know that being said you have the 50-day moving average right underneath holding it up so if it can hold these levels it needs to hold yesterday's lows needs to hold wednesday's lows to push higher if it does not 
if it breaches, then you're going to have a little bit of a flush to, you know, that 310-ish level. So um, 310, if it gets flushed, if not, we see a push to the upside to obviously these highs of the previous days, which is obviously around that 325. So 320, 325 around there, if we can get that push, we should be able to get a nice run to these levels. If not, it should flush at 310. I'm going to wrap it up with Tesla. Um, so uh, they had their unveiling of the cyber truck last night in Los Angeles and um, I don't know if any of you guys saw it you know it's it's uh, leaves a lot to be desired let's just put it that way I'm not a fan um, that being said you know it's you know whenever you're it's doing something new doing something different people are always gonna be you know it's taking a step back and and you know judging you know that's just human nature unfortunately um, but the market selling off this morning uh, as far as Tesla is concerned they closed down closed up um, the market yesterday just over two and a half points um, final support that 341 we like this level to, to bounce off of we think it's gonna hold it should hold because obviously this is a low of the 11th so it's a nice opportunity to scoop up some shares being that you know not a fan of, of the uh, the design of the truck is completely completely irrelevant that's all this this is this morning is uh, an opinion of the aesthetics which is quite ridiculous but it is what it is you know that's that's the emotion of traders and investors so um, let the dust settle we look for a nice bounce um, around these levels so obviously it may flush to that 340 but again we see a nice reversal for today's session so we got the five um, and that's it guys you know uh, we're gonna be wrapping it up we're gonna be start doing a weekly uh, market uh, watch list starting next week and uh, for our uh, for our members we're gonna you know obviously do more of an in-depth detail video uh, throughout the week of, of uh, positions that we're gonna be putting on and that we are putting on so um, you know as far as the daily watch list is coming to an end today again we're gonna be putting out a weekly video watch list what we're gonna be looking for the week starting on Monday next week which is 24th of November all right guys listen have a great rest of the week I mean rest of the uh, trading session today wrapping up a week enjoy your weekend as always be be uh, very patient with price be very patient with your setups respect your stops at all cost stay in the game keep a seat at the table if you're wrong cut your losses very very quickly take a step back reevaluate your situation and if you're right hop back in if not step aside learn from your mistakes and move on all right guys any question reach out to us we're here for you uh, again you know don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our uh, channel here not to miss any of our future trading videos all right guys have a great day in the markets and we're gonna catch you remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our trading videos